Hello guys. In this video, I will be going over the various types of smart home lighting solutions available and discuss which solution might be better suited for your home or specific project. So there are mainly three types of smart home lighting solutions available in the market. These include Wi-Fi enabled light bulb kits, wireless light dimmers as you can see here and also wired solutions. Today I'm mainly focusing on the first two because of reasons that will be clearer later in the video. So to start with, let me go over some of the features that users look for when it comes to smart home lighting. The first is the ability to control lights remotely, for example from your phone or tablet in case you forgot to turn them off. Or you might just be lying in bed and wish to turn off the lights from your phone. The second is the ability to schedule lights so that they can turn on and off at specific times. This is especially useful for occupancy situations where you might be on vacation but want to give the impression that the house is occupied. The third is the ability to connect lights to other devices such as motion sensors or door sensors so that they can be triggered automatically. A variation of this can include having a single master switch near the main door that turns off all the lights and closes all the blinds while you're leaving the house. This can be actually done at a relatively low cost without a lot of rewiring for certain types of solutions. So the first kit we have here is the Wi-Fi enabled light bulb kit. It's the most straightforward and the easiest to set up and includes products such as the Belkin Vimo and Philips Hue. These products consist of an LED light bulb that are Wi-Fi enabled and come with a bridge. All you have to do is to screw the light bulb in, plug in the bridge and install the app on your phone. Once this is set up, you can control your lights remotely from your phone app, set schedules and even connect to other devices using services such as IFTTT. In my previous video, I showed how to set up an Amazon Echo with Belkin lights for simple voice control. The Belkin Wemo family also consists of other products such as the Wemo Maker and the Belkin Insight Switch, which can both be connected using the Wemo app to provide a full smart home environment. With products such as Philips Hue, you can even control the colour of your lights to achieve mood lighting. Currently on Amazon, a Belkin Vimo kit with two light bulbs and a bridge costs £50. A downside of these kits is that you cannot control the lights using your light switch at the same time. What this means is that if you turn the light off using the physical light switch, the app would not be able to turn the light back on until the physical switch is back on. Now this can be a major deal breaker for many. Another issue is that these kits usually just include the standard screw-in or bayonet light bulbs, so they're not suitable for all types of light fittings. And the Belkin Wemo app is not the best as well as it's known to be buggy. These type of solutions are suitable for users who just need lighting control in their house and don't mind not using their light switch but using something like Amazon Echo instead. Now the second type of lighting solution available are the wireless light dimmers such as the Fibaro Z-Wave dimmer we have here. Now these are small modules as you can see here that can be installed behind the light switch and set up using a Z-Wave controller such as a Fibaro Home Center 2. They provide more functionality than a Wi-Fi kit and can be programmed for more complex behavior using the controller. The Fibaro Home Center 2 has a relatively user-friendly interface and can be used even without much technical knowledge. With these dimmers, the physical light switches can still be used and in fact their behavior can also be altered, meaning that the same switch can be configured to control other smart devices as well. For example, a single tap can be used to control the lights, while a double tap can be used to turn off the heating in that room, provided you have a compatible thermostat such as the Nest Learning thermostat. Now instead of the dimmer modules, you can also purchase the slightly more expensive Z-Wave light switches. 
These work in a similar fashion to the light dimmers, the difference being that instead of installing a dimmer module behind your existing light switch, you completely replace your light switch with this one. Also, before I forget, you can also purchase the RGBW version of the light dimmers. These are used to control RGBW LEDs to provide mood lighting. Now the downside of this is that it does take more time to set up and requires you to have an expensive Z-Wave controller. Now bear in mind that the controller can be used to integrate a variety of different smart home devices, so this sort of solution is only useful for users who are planning to have various smart home devices in their house so the controller can be used to its full potential. It might be a bit of an overkill just to control your lights. Another thing to check is whether the back boxes behind the physical light switches at your home are big enough to accommodate these dimmers, as some of the older houses have really small back boxes that would need to be changed for this adding to the cost. Now the third type of solution which I briefly mentioned are the wired solutions such as lock zone, where the whole house is wired to provide some sort of smart home features. Now this is usually only applicable for new builds and not really suitable for retrofits as it requires extensive rewiring and recently wired smart home solutions are losing popularity as they become more and more expensive to be installed and once set up any modifications would require further rewiring. Most users will be satisfied with the wireless alternatives mentioned in this video. Well I hope this video helped you in deciding which smart home lighting solution to choose for your home. Feel free to leave your thoughts below in the comments and thanks for watching.